What is up, my guys? My name is Darth Finn, and today I am doing this uh, Corrupted Village quest, the reworked version. So, hello, Orca. Why is he like a bird? Go away. I know you're angry, but there's nothing to gain here. Okay, keep talking. Oh, you seem calm. What are you doing here? A bit close to the portal for a soldier, isn't it? Well, like, what do you think else do you think I'd be doing? I see you are sent to aid the public. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm Orkal. I'm trying to stop everybody here from killing each other. Okay. You saw these spikes? I believe they're the thing spreading corruption. I see all these spikes. Corruption does not affect humans like other beings. It's much slower, like an infection of the mind to us. Could you inspect the peak of the spike in this village for me? It could give valuable insight, thanks. Okay, I will go check out this. So we have some parkours. The spike appears to be much larger than the others around the village, but nothing unusual. You should take a closer look at the top, okay? There's a zombified sheeps. I should not hold shift when I'm doing parkour. Um... Climb up the spike. Is this parkour isn't that hard unless you hold shift like me. Um, so let's go. When observing the spike from the top, you notice absolutely nothing. You should report back. Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't want to do that at night. It's very hard to tell what's happening. Hello, Orcal. That was quick. Did you find anything? Not really. Really, nothing. You don't even have. You don't even feel anything. How can it just be a spike? It must be spreading corruption somehow. Um, then perhaps my second theory was correct. I'll have to send you underground. Okay. There are two cave. There are old cave systems around here from the mining days. I sent two men to excavate the spike. Can you go down there and help? The entrance is a little to the northeast. In fact, you should pass it away to Spike. Sure. We'll go down into this cave. Alfonso, this is insane. Why are we here? We're looking for corruption. You know that, right? Calm down. All we have to do is keep digging. Besides, he did say he'd pay us a lot, so stop being mad. Alfonso, forget it. I don't care anymore. Just prime the explosive and get clear of the blast. So let's go talk to you guys. Explosion sounded like an uncover something big. You should take a look. Oh, so. Let's see. Well, that did the trick. Let's go take a look. Oh my, what is this? Well, yeah, that's the root. My dude. Looks like a giant spike. Wow, how deep does this thing go? Well, you know what? We did our job, so let's... Honestly, I don't care. Let's get out of here. Orca, we're done. Pay up. I'm on out of this. This place is getting to me. Yep, I can tell that. We. C I came when I heard the explosion. I thought you'd hurt yourselves. Yeah, this place has a lot of emeralds in it. Well, I'll be darned. This spike goes as far down. And look, it goes even deeper than this. Well, I don't know about you, but I say we blow it to shreds. That ought to get rid of the spike. Orca, for once I agree. I'll do it. You guys just get clear. Is Orca like an Avos or something? Wow, that did nothing. We're gonna need something much more powerful than TNT. Oh yeah, and just what would you have in mind? Well, it's sort of complicated. That's why I've decided to give our new friend here the job of acquiring this explosive. Well, thank you. I don't really appreciate that. Well, if you don't need any more, we'll be just be on our way with our money, so hand it over, please. All right, fine. Here's your pay. Thank you for your help. My gosh, these people are spending all their shots. God, that's hardly anything. I'm not even surprised. Let's just go. Anyway, come with me back to my tent, friend. We'll discuss what to do then.
Oh, I'm getting an adventure soundtrack. You never get this one. I like this song. And it's bringing back so much memories. Okay, I happen to know the recipe for creating an extremely lethal magical explosive. There are three main ingredients you'll need to get in me. Unstable corrupted ore, incinerator fluid, switch fuse to activate it. There used to be a small mining camp a little to the east of this town. It's abandoned now, but you should still be able to find out what you need there. It's not the big old abandoned mines, mind you. It's a smaller camp. In fact, you should be able to see it from this village. Best of luck, and oh, also try not to die, please. These ingredients indeed promote environmental hazards. Interesting. So just over here, why are you invisible? Um, so just over here, there's a little camp. It's got some stuff. So the first one, we will go for which one? So that one's the hardest, I'll leave that for last. So just, wow. Down here, you just turn turn that on, and then you go up to the top. And then there is a little well. Um, let's see, climb up here. Where's the little well? Here is the little well. Let's press this button. Okay, so there is our incinerary fluid. I have too much stuff in my inventory. Okay, and then over here, you've got wrecking ball contraptions. You just turn on the wrecking ball, and it breaks that. Go in this thing. There's some dead guys, but there's a fuse, too. So, um, now the last one, you basically have to go down here, and there's some parkour, but you don't, you only have to do it on the way back. Anyway, so there's this unstable corrupted ore, you take some, it gives you a few minutes to get out, but you can just bypass that by slash classing. I'm back, have the ore. And no timer. Boom. I, I think that's technically cheating, but like... Yeah, that is cheating, but whatever. It works. Uh, why am I so bad at doing this? There we go. So now we have that. You just put it in here. And then it'll pop out this side. Can I pick that up, please? Why isn't this working? I don't have a full inventory. Oh, it must be because of that. There. So now we have done that. And all we have to do is bring this stuff back to that dude, and we can blow up this spike. So, uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Why are those? <laughs> I never noticed that those things were named Cocos. Cocos. Um, you got them all. Excellent. This is exactly what we need. Yay. Okay. Um, Alright, stand back. I've actually never made this before, so let's hope I don't cause a disaster. Oracle takes the materials you received and puts them in a container. He mutters some words in an unknown language, um, and suddenly the container turns into some magical TNT. Phew. Glad nothing tragic happened. This should be it now. 
Go back and take it to the spike and destroy it once and for all. Yes, let's go do that. There's so much emeralds in here. So let's put it on there. And boom. It appears the magical TNT work. Now that the spike's roots have been demolished, you should talk to Oracle about your success. Okay. I have blown up spikes. Oh, I like this music. I haven't heard this in ages. Okay. Oh, do you feel that? It's like a buzzing in my ears. I never knew. I never knew, but it has just vanished. I think that has worked, you know? It seems like the power of the spike comes from the root. Um, what's that connected to? That's for another day. The main thing is the village is safe. Yay. We saved a village. Um, take, take this for your help. I found this potato in one of the houses around here. I sure as heck don't want it. Well, thanks. Now I have a billion corrupted potatoes. That's okay, I can throw some away. Yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this episode of Windcraft, The Corrupted Village. Oh, snap, I just hit a guy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.